It's Friday. That means here at HM, it's fly tying time. And to inspire you for this weekend's fishing, well, it's time to go on the pull with a cormorant. Right, this fly I'm gonna tie, it comes from my pulling cast range. Now, why have I got it called it pulling? Well, early season or when there's fresh stockies in the reservoir. And what I've tried to do is really attractive flies on the top, really bright in the middle, slightly more, more imitative. And the fly I'm tying here is a 3D cormorant. I suppose you can call it, a, it's, it's halfway to a buzzer and a lure. Um, and it does help sometimes when those fish are sort of going off the buzzers uh, or off the lures and onto the buzzers. This, this sort of overlaps that gap. Um, but this selection, what I've done is I've put two double hook flies on the point um, and you can choose one of them and great early season for hanging the flies now what, what i mean by hanging the flies is that you pull the flies back at whatever level the fly dictates or the fly line dictates and then as you're bringing it up to the boat you just hang them and just drop the tip as well what that does because you've got that double hook on the point it allows the flies to actually drift back down to where the fish are chasing it from. So if they're constantly just taking the point fly, then you have to go down a little bit deeper. But this one you'll see that it's got a holographic. And what we're going to do, put the marabou in the top, in the wing. And when you're tying these, border on side of caution, put longer marabou and you can always, always trim it back. If you put it on too short, then obviously you can add on to it. And even though I said early season for this selection, also does well when you're, uh, it's a new fish, new stockies. Uh, fish tend to hold deep early season but also, middle of the summer, then fish will, if it, if it gets really, really hot, fish will tend to sort of drop down in the levels as well. So that's just a normal red holographic buzzer, but what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to put a couple of goose bayats on it, so it just gives that added attraction to the pattern. So I'm going to tie that in there. Trim that off. And we'll leave it there just for a sec, couple of turns. And then that one on the other side, what you want is just going down the side of the fly. And when you tie it, make sure it doesn't go underneath. Just turn it, and that's where you want it, just on the side of the pattern. It's just gone underneath again, so we'll just rotate that. And the great thing about having a vice that you can rotate, you can always look on the other side before you finish it off. Make sure everything is in the right place. Cut them off and then tidy them up. So cut that off there. And then fold them back. What that will do is it'll make sure that those bayats are permanently held in place. They're not going to drop off. So if you're going out early season and you want to fish deep and you want to fish the hang, then check out this pulling cast. It has got a great selection of different flies that will catch fish on all depths. Ah. Okay. <laughs>